Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Hello. Assalamu Alaikum, sir. Assalamu Alaikum, sir. Assalamu Alaikum, sir. Thank you. Do you have a good Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Thank you. Class test, sir. File sir. Share course for you, sir. Yes. Who does this? A shot number. You declare of your principal component analysis. Yes, sir. Some class of all class of all. Yes, sir. 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 Already the unmute Example <laughs> A Mamun Kibos, Mamun Sono. Hello, Mamun Sono. Okay, two dimensional as a one dimensional one of two dimensional as one dimensional. Thank There is no all students are present now. Dear student, now I will start my class. At first, I am uh, talking about the class test question that I have already uploaded uh, in ELMS. Dear student, please download the class test question and solve. I have given time time boundary so in that time time boundary please uh, submit your uh, ct assignment so dear student i already again i am repeating already i uploaded the ct question in elms and in the elms i have given you time deadline uh, approximately one month time so uh, please submit the assignment within the time deadline. And uh, if any problem, please ask me question. So here now, dear student, I am talking about the uh, question. Uh, question I, I am talking about and I am explaining what will be the answer uh, of your question. Show an example of customer purchase pattern based on Bangladesh. 
so here you can use the bangladesh traditional experience of customer purchasing pattern uh, already in my lecture note there is a purchasing pattern is given with respect to america but my question is with respect to bangladesh you have to find out the purchasing pattern so set your own example from your experience from your experience but you have to write the answer with respect to bangladesh this is the first question there is student again i am repeating i am talking about the class test question the class test uh, question already uploaded in elms so please collect the class test question and solve it and after solving uh, class uh, the answer of class test question should be uploaded to the elms again uh, so uh, please try yourself best now the question that i have uploaded in elms that question about that question i am explaining what is the what will be the answer so that uh, you can find out a clear picture uh, so that you can uh, answer it and easily you can solve it so now dear students show an example of customer purchasing pattern based on bangladesh in my lecture note in my uh, first lecture that just uh, last uh, last friday i discussed about uh, the uh, question uh, this type of question but that that question uh, was set with respect to bangladesh with respect to bangladesh or with respect to america that question was uh, written and uh, solved it with respect to america but this question is based on bangladesh customer pattern so use your own experience uh, so that you can write this answer uh, so this question was already discussed in my class i uh, show an example of database using personal data from the database identify attribute object and record so here uh, you can set your own example database example uh, in a database you can write uh, one or two table uh, to one or two table you can write in your database and uh, for example i can give you an example uh, your attributes uh, maybe your name your student id your phone number and based on your student id uh, you can write if you write more than one table in that case uh, in the second table you can write student id and for example your uh, cgpa uh, for example uh, your address or other things so uh, please design a database and in the database you can write two table uh one or two table and in the table table header may be uh, name student id and your for example your uh, phone number and in another table you can write student id your cgpa or your address or anything you can write and uh, from those two table you can mention attribute object and record what is attribute what is object what is record uh, i will tell you what is uh, attribute object and record uh, now uh, third question is uh, dear student uh, do you have any any problem in question 1 and question 2 dear student question 1 and question 2 any problem dear student question 1 and question 2 any problem I no sir you can no, sir. okay right example of challenges of knowledge discovery in data uh, right here i have written uh, right example of challenge of knowledge discovery in data because uh, i already uh, maybe not your section maybe saturday section i will uh, tell you uh, some challenges of data because 3b 
in a pro, uh, data problem, three V. One is data, data uh, velocity, one is data volume, another one is data variety. So three types of challenges are in data. Again, I am repeating dear student, one pro, three B, three B. First one is volume, uh, first B is volume, second B is velocity, and third B is variety. So this challenges, what, what will be the challenges that I will discuss in my class today? So uh, regarding those challenges, you have to mention, and what, what is the problem in data? In that case, please uh, uh, mention your data challenges uh, that will be happened in data mining or uh, in the data extraction process. So, and in the data processing process. So, the student, that challenges you have to mention and what are the problem and what are the benefits, what are the problem you have to mention uh, category, categorically. So, uh, this is the challenges uh, of data that I will discuss in my today's class, inshallah. Uh, so, uh, show example of data, unstructured data, semi-structured data, time series data, sequence data, spatial data, spatial temporal, temporal data. This topic already I discussed in my class. You have to set example. You have to set one or two example and you can already I, uh, in my class, already I uh, mentioned uh, two or three examples for each of the category. So, dear student, you can offer for more categories. You can collect examples from the internet also. So, uh, you can uh, you have to write the example ex example here. Here, select five documents uh, from political magazine. Draw a data matrix using documents and keywords. This is the question that I will discuss in my today's class. In this case, you have to draw a table. You have to draw a table and in the table, many uh, attributes uh, you have to write. Many attributes means uh, how many word category, how many word category are in the documents uh, you have to mention and based on those word categories, you have to put tick marks or cross marks whether this document, for example, document number one contains this word, document number one contains second word, so document number one contains third word, and you have to, uh, similarly for document two, whether document two contains this word, this word, this word, document three contains this word, this word, this word, or not. So uh, this question depends on you from any political magazine. Uh, you can collect five document, five topic, and from the topic, you have to draw a table and you have to, uh, after, uh, after collecting the uh, political magazine and you have to select at first five documents or five, five topic from the magazine and you have to put which, what category uh, are in that topic. So there is student, here you have to draw a table. I show you in my today's lecture uh, uh, so that uh, your answer will be easy because this topic in my today's lecture, this topic have. Here uh, um, from the graph below, uh, cluster P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 points using k-mean and hierarchical clustering. Uh, this question also I will discuss uh, because this is mathematics. Uh, so. Uh, uh, this is mathematical question. So dear student, this is a mathematical question. I will show you in my uh, today's class if I have time. Uh, uh, write principal component analysis algorithm. And uh, this is the algorithm uh, in my lecture note, uh, this algorithm happens. And based on this algorithm, you have to do a math. Here there is a math reduce the dimension of the following data matrix using principal component analysis. Here one dimension, two dimension are the, there, but I have to reduce the dimensionality of the data. So dear student, uh, I have to convert it into one dimensional data. 
though i have two dimensional data here one dimension two dimensional data uh, one dimension two dimensional data i have but i have to reuse this dimensionality uh, to one so there is student here dimensional reduction this is map very large map uh, approximate a uh, four or five, uh, five page map so that map you have to solve, solve. so dear student if you have any question regarding uh, in uh, regarding the city question please ask me if you have any problem i have given you uh, five minutes to ask me question then i will go my lecture dear student so can you please repeat the six number again please yeah uh, uh, there is a question here uh, point p1 point p2 point p3 point p4 point p5 are given here using k mean clustering algorithm a k mean and hierarchical is a clustering algorithm using at first using k mean clustering algorithm you have to cluster those five data you have to cluster cluster those five data you have to cluster those five data into for example two clusters you have to uh, maintain you have to uh, consider two cluster and you have to cluster this five data into two clusters that i am jodi banglate boli ekhane hocche je ei data gulo ke cluster korte hobe dui ta bage cluster korte hobe arekta another clustering name is hierarchical clustering in that case dear student you have to cluster those five data uh, according to the hierarchical clustering but you do not know how to make uh, how to Uh, make the k-mean clustering and how to make the hierarchical clustering. So in my class, at first I will discuss, and then you have to solve this question because you uh, there are five points. So you have to divide those five points into uh, two clusters. Uh, first one using k-mean clustering algorithm, and second one using hierarchical clustering algorithm. So k-mean and hierarchical clustering algorithm, so two clustering separate. clustering algorithms are given you the using each of the clustering algorithms you have to divide those data this is the question so this question i will discuss in my class i hope that it will not be problem to solve after uh, after uh, explaining the k mean and hierarchical clustering in my class so dear student if you have any problem in any question please ask me Uh, so dear student i hope that you have understood the uh, question sheet i hope that and in my class and in my class all answer of all of the questions uh, you will get and please if any problem uh, in the uh, class test question uh, in that case you can call me or you can uh, sit with me uh, in zoom uh, uh, Out, uh, out of my class. So, uh, in that case, dear student, uh, it will not be problem. If you feel any problem, in that case, you can phone me, you can call me, or you can uh, sit with me uh, in Zoom. So, inshallah, it will not be problem. Please uh, try yourself one by one to solve the question. Now, I will go for my uh, class class lecture. so dear, dear student uh, uh, this is the this is the uh, page uh, from this page i will start my class already dear student in my dear student my sheet is visible from your side no sir now 
now visible uh, question is a uh, here uh, lecture note is visible from your side dear student yes, yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, now I discuss the uh, question number five answer. Uh, uh, five, maybe five, which is question number five, maybe. Uh, question number five, maybe it is city, question number five, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, question number five. Dear student, uh, what is the question number five? Select five documents. Uh, from political magazine, draw uh, data matrix using documents and keywords. This is my question. So uh, how can I write this question, answer of this question? So uh, now I am discussing the answer of this question. Question number five. Here, dear student, I have written uh, three documents. I have written three document one, document two, and document three. Three documents I have. Uh, these three documents, document one, document two, and document three are sports related document. Sports related document. In document one and document two and document three, you have to find out the, uh, you have to find out the, Keywords. Keywords you have to find out from the documents. For example, one keyword is team, one keyword is coach, one keyword is play, one keyword is ball, one keyword is score, one keyword is game, one keyword is win, one keyword is lost, one keyword is timeout, one keyword is season. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Total ten keywords are given. Total ten keywords are given. But I have three documents. One is document one, document two, and document three. We have three documents and ten keywords. So uh, in the column, uh, column I have written all the keywords. And in the row, I have written all the documents. So document one contains team, the word team for three times. The word three, the word team for three times. Again, I am repeating. Document one contains the word team for three times. And document uh, one contains the word coach for zero time. That means the word coach document one does not have, so uh, zero times. Play, the word play, document one contains the word play for five times. Document one contains the word ball for zero times. Document one contains the word score for two times. Document one contains the word game for six times. Document one contains the word win for zero times. Document one contains the word lost for two times. Document one contains the word timeout for zero times. Document one contains the word season for two times. Similarly, dear student, document two contains zero, zero times, uh, seven times, zero times, two times, one time, zero times, zero times, three times, zero times, zero times. And document three, contains the word team for zero times, post for one time, play for zero times, ball for zero times, score for one time, game for two times, win for two times, lost for zero times, time out for three times, and season for zero times. So dear student, this table, uh, this is the table, this is the data matrix that I have constructed from three documents, document one, document two, and document three. I hope that you have understood, dear student. If you have any question to understand this table, how I have constructed this table, please ask me question. This is the answer of question number five, dear student. Question number six, question number five. Select five documents. Here I have written five documents from political magazine. But in this case, I have written the data from sports magazine. I have written the data for sports magazine, but in your class test, you have to write the uh, answer from political magazine. 
so dear student if you have any problem to understand this table please ask me dear student sir so how the uh, keywords are selected a uh, keyword a uh, very 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 good, good question how i have uh, select the keyword how i have the i, I, I have select the keyword uh, in data mining course at the end of this semester i will uh, i will explain the tf idf algorithm term frequency and inverse uh, document frequency this topic uh, available in my uh, data mining course so i will explain uh, that topic but now only remember that which are the keywords key keywords you have to uh, you have to discard the um, stop word what are the stop word for example uh this is a for example i have written this is a ball for example here this is a uh, you have to discard this you have to di discard is you have to discard a but you you are not allowed to discard the ball because ball is a keyword a remaining word you have to remove the is am is are all the articles uh, all the articles this type of things you have to remove and after removing all the articles uh, uh, all the stop word that means is am are uh, after discarding those words um, you have to consider the keywords do you understand dear student uh, another thing is that, say for example you have, in the question it is given that we have to select total five documents yeah. and from there we have to select the keywords but uh, uh, how many keywords should we uh, consider i mean this can be a very long list uh, if documents is very long in that case number of keywords will be uh, larger so uh, uh, la uh, uh, will be larger so in that case please select the smaller document so you can accommodate this uh, this one in your sheet or another thing uh, you it can fix happen. a fix a limit sir that maximum 20 or 25 whatever uh, it is depend on you it depends on you but most important keywords you have to consider most important keywords you have to consider but if you discard the most important keywords in that case, in the in the context of data mining, it is very difficult to the to find out the characteristics of the data. So it it will be very difficult. So in that case, uh, you can limit yourself, or you can collect a smaller documents so that um, you can accommodate your all of the keywords in the page. Okay. Sir, uh, as a summary, can we say something like that? Uh, first of all, we have to select first article regarding a uh, defined topic like uh, sports uh, in, your, in your case polity, it should political be a political okay. magazine from this article we have to find out the meaningful word meaningful word that is keyword that is a keyword so, so meaningful from uh, meaningful word we have to um, re, uh, retrieve uh, frequency of this uh, meaningful frequency word frequency of the word yes. that's it uh, yes document one three times document one contains the word post for the zero time document one contains the word play for five times document one contains the word ball for zero times document one contains the word score for two times document one contains the score, uh, word game for six times document one contains the word win for zero times document one contains the word lost for two times document one contains the word time out for zero times document one contains the word season for two times so just like this way uh, dear student fill up this table uh, but remember that you uh, city question contains five documents so here though i have given example based on three documents but in your city question uh, it is five documents so please uh, make an answer based on your question Sir, in short, bolle to ami prothita document theke related je word kulo amar mone hobe je eta mane specific like political word king ba mane amar assignmentor khetre ki shekhetre to ami oi word kulo ni bo mane word selection ta to just relative hobe right? Yes, 
Yes, relatively with respect to all of the documents. Document one, document two, document three, document four, document five. It was political documents. So some words, some keywords are common. Sir, it is that it is not possible. Say, for example, uh, a specific kind of thing is reported on the newspaper. Uh, so, yes. Yes, 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 same political news, for example. Same uh, political news in many different newspapers. Uh, newspaper. Same, same news uh, based on the different papers. You can collect from our uh, our English, uh, but uh, your answer, uh, you should put uh, Bengali, uh, Bengali uh, you should read the Bengali newspaper. Bengali magazine you have considered. Because here, please data bay, uh, here construct the data matrix based on the Bengali newspaper or Bengali magazine. So put an example based on your Bengali uh, political magazine or uh, uh, magazine or newspapers. You can consider. But sh uh, you should set the answer based on Bengali. B uh, this should be Bengali words. Bengali words. So we have to consider the Bangla documents. Bangla documents. So you can collect it from our newspaper also. Uh, for example, uh, from Prathamalo, uh, Noya Divanto, uh, Borer Kagos, Shamokal, Jugantar. Many papers are available. So you can collect the topic, one topic, but from five, news, uh, from five newspapers. You can collect it. Okay, dear student. Now the student, uh, here is a distance matrix. I am drawing the distance matrix. So what is the distance matrix? Here I am talking about the distance matrix, how you can uh, find out the distance matrix. So here the student, here I have draw, drawn a graph, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, here 0, 1, 2, 3. Here we have point P1 is 0, 2, P2 is 3, 0, P3 is 3, 1, P4 is 5, uh, 5, 1. So how can you find out the distance matrix? This is the distance matrix that I have drawn here. Uh, here P1, P1 is our point 1, P2 is our point 2, P3 is our point 3, P4 is our point 4. Similar P1, P2, P3, P4 I have written here. So I have to find out the distance and P1, P1, P, yeah, P1 to P1 is distance zero. And P1 to P2, how I have calculated the distance? For example, what is the coordinate of uh, P1? P1 is zero two and P2 is two zero. So P1 is zero two, P2 is two zero. So dear student, P1, P2 equal to root over of zero minus two whole square, two minus zero whole square, after making calculation, our result is 2.828. So P1, the distance between P1 and P2 is 2.828 that I have written here. 2.828 that I have written here. So dear student, the distance between P1 and P2 is 2.828. I have given an example. Uh, P1, P1 is zero and P1, P2 is 2.828 that I have shown here. How you have to calculate? Now P1 and P3 distance in the similar technique, using the similar technique, I have calculated the P1, P3. I have calculated the P1, P4 that I have calculated here. And P2, P1 that I have similarly calculated here. So just fill up this table. One calculation I have shown here, uh, but uh, similar fashion, in the similar fashion, you have to calculate the, uh, you have to fill up by using data uh, in this table. So dear, Sir, yes, please. Is this the Euclidean distance formula? Yes, Euclidean distance formula that I have applied. Okay. This is the Euclidean distance formula that I have applied. Zero minus two whole square, two minus zero whole square. Though we have many uh, distance measure calculation, Manhattan distance, Bartha charger distance, uh, then Euclidean distance. Here I have applied the Euclidean distance that I have written here. Okay. Yes, sir. If you have any problem, 
to construct this table. If you have any problem, if you have any question, please ask me. Sir, so, I mean, the graph here, what the P1, P2, where value ta kiba we fill in and paper ta bushi. Ah, uh, here zero two. P1 is zero two. Here is zero. X X value is zero. Y value is two. So zero two. Similarly, P2 X value is two. Y value is nothing. So two zero. In the in this point, P3. Just look at the P3. X value is three, and Y value is one. So uh, three one. P uh, P four. What is hey, the P four? Here sure basis is all. I mean, the zero to I mean, boost the part. So, if you point, you are uh, bora bora value. That means point is according to. Just randomly, I have random graph. Randomly, I have choose four points. Randomly, I have choose four points. Randomly. Okay. Yes, sir. Dear student, do you have any question? Any student, any problem to understand here? Sir, do we have to show the calculation for all the yes, points? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, otherwise, how can I calculate? If you want to draw the distance matrix, in that case, it is impossible without calculating to put those value in this uh, table. So you should uh, calculate. At first, you should calculate, and then then put in this table. Okay. Now, dear student, uh, sequence data. Uh, here, in my last class, I told you what is sequence data. Sequence data may be genome sequence because in our DNA, in our chromosome, dear student, in our chromosome there is a uh, sequence data. Uh, if you look at the chromosome, in that case. Uh, chromosome of our cell, chromosome of COVID-19, or chromosome of different uh, uh, animals, uh, you can consider. In that case, uh, every chromosome have a their DNA sequence. So, dear student, that is the sequence data. But here I have given another example. What is the symptom of anemia? Uh, night sweat, then night sweat then fever, then anemia. Uh, night sweet, then sleepy, then anemia. So uh, dear student here, I have shown a sequence. Sequence data, that means uh, some sequence you have to follow to go from source to destination. So that is the sequence data that I have mentioned here. But already I have given a example based on the chromosome data. In the chromosome, there is a DNA sequence. So DNA uh, contains a definitely there is a sequence. So there is student data, data, data that is also sequence data. Uh, uh, chromosome is, for example, COVID-19. COVID-19, in that, that case, uh, in the chromosome, there is a uh, DNA sequence. So there is a gene that is called gene. So uh, that is a gene. So there is a DNA sequence we have the chromosome so it maintains particular sequence because of that it is called sequence data in this case there is student symptom sequence night sweet then fever then anemia night sweet then sleepy then anemia so there is student this follows a sequence this follows a sequence so this called sequence data uh, then there is student here a time series data uh, time series data, time series data, I know I, I already told you, but here I have given an example. In January, how many millimeter rainfall it happens? January, in the February, how many uh, uh, how many millimeter rainfall occurs? In the March, how many rainfall occurs? In the April, how many rainfall occurs? In the May, uh, here, uh, how many rainfall occurs in June? How many rainfall occurs? July, how many rainfall occurs? So, dear student, here I have shown the time series data with respect to the time, uh, time that means month uh, versus the uh, millimeter of rainfall. So, this is the time series data because with respect to time, I have shown the amount of rainfall. There is student any problem to understand this to, uh, sequence data and temporal data? There is no, student? sir. Okay. Now, uh, uh, here, uh, here interval data, dear student. 
the uh, interval data. So in the in this case, inter what is interval data? For example, uh, uh, you can consider the temperature of uh, uh, our thermometer temperature. For example, if this range, then it will be typhoid. If this range, it will be normal fever. If this range, it will be another type of disease. So you can define your interval of thermometer for defining particular disease. So in that case, you can define the interval. So here A is interval, C is another interval, B is one interval, D is another interval. So there is a the student here, uh, in this case, interval patient data are given. So interval, that means it follows some particular interval. Within this, this interval, it will be this type of disease. Uh, within this interval, this will be this type of disease. Within the interval, this type of disease. Within this interval, this uh, this type of disease. Dear student, please wait. I will connect my charger. Any problem there, student, to understand the interval data? What is interval data? Dear student, any problem to understand the interval data? What is interval data? No, sir. No, sir. Now uh, I go for. Here, dear student, here data mining task. What are the data mining task? I am now uh, explaining the uh, task of data mining. One is clustering, one is classification, one is regression, one is outlier detection. Now, at first, I am talking about the clustering. What is clustering? Here, I have given, a, uh, given an example for clustering. Here, dear student, in this figure, for example, we have starry class static 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 class and another is circle class so i can divide this data into two clusters i can divide this data into two clusters one cluster is static cluster one cluster is circle cluster so i have defined uh, the two clusters and i have divided the clusters using the separation line separation line so uh, this is cluster one and this is the cluster two i have divided the data into two clusters Dear yes, student, the cluster, what is clustering? Actually, for example, in our class, in our class, we have uh, three types of students. Uh, for example, one, is, uh, one class student is very, very good student. One class student is mediocre student. One class student is weak student. So we can divide our students into three clusters based on the inherent characteristics of the data. So dear students, since we have uh, uh, inherent characteristics of data. Based on that, uh, we can divide our student into three, uh, three clusters. Uh, though, dear student, in this diagram, we have two clusters. Uh, I have divided the data into two clusters. But in the case of a student, we can divide our students into three clusters. So using the clustering technique, uh, we can divide our data into many clusters. So many clustering techniques we have k mean clustering technique, hierarchical clustering technique, fuzzy semen clustering technique. Uh, so, dear student, fuzzy semen clustering technique, modified k mean clustering technique. Uh, so, many clustering techniques we have uh, in data mining or machine learning course. So, uh, I will show you mathematically how you solve the uh, problem using the clustering technique. So clustering techniques, k-mean clustering technique, modified k-mean clustering technique, fuzzy semen clustering technique, hierarchical clustering technique. So we have student many clustering techniques we have. So what is the purpose of clustering techniques? 
to divide the data into two or uh, two or more clusters. To divide the data into two or more clusters, we have to use the cluster index. The yes, student, do you have an, uh, any problem to understand what is cluster? What is cluster? फॉर एक्साम्पल Uh, your CGPA may be a parameter. Your behavior may be a uh, uh, parameter. So, for example, your attendance in the class is a parameter. So, based on many parameters, you can divide our students. Our student, for example, our student has three categories. One category is very best student. one category is mediocre student one category is weak student so we have three categories of student if i divide the divide our students if i divide our students into more than one categories in that case our this is our cluster cluster is not stored so i want to separate each of the categories based on the student parameters or students inherent characteristics so that is the cluster here dear student i have divided the data if you look at the diagram in this diagram dear student in this diagram we have two clusters why you have two clusters one cluster is static 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 i have given a separation line dear student though this line is non linear it is non non linear so i have here i have given a separation line in this separation according to this separation line dear student circle 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 is cluster 1 staric 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 is cluster 2 because staric are, are one cluster and uh, circle are another cluster so i have divided the data into here two clusters so one is staric cluster one is the one is the circle cluster this is the separation line the separation line to make cluster uh, the whole data into two clusters any problem dear student sir hierarchical oh. it meaning ta sir thik bujhte parlam na hierarchical just you have to draw a tree for example in your office uh, there you have a boss under that boss many people are working and under those people another many people working under those people many people are working so this is a hierarchy so you have to cluster the data according to the hierarchy so that is the hierarchical clustering i will show you example so it will not be problem because i will give you the mathematical example so that you can understand the topic very well so uh, now i am discussing theoretically because of that uh, it is very difficult uh, for you to understand how to do the hierarchical clustering how to do the chemical clustering i will show you the example you don't worry about it all right sir so uh, uh where that just i am uh, apparently i am talking about what is clustering how to uh, clustering means how to separate the data how to categorize the data here i have categorized the data yes now whether this paper has novelty or not whether this paper has novelty or not for example if this paper means not kagaz this paper means here actually it is conference or journal paper whether journal paper is innovative or not uh, we can divide the divide a conference paper into two classes either yes or no that means if yes it is the number the paper has novelty if no that means this paper has no novelty so uh, novelty based on a novelty i have divided the conference or journal paper into two categories one yes another one is no that means our paper uh, may have novelty or may do not have uh, uh, 
do not have connection. So we can categorize our journal conference paper into two classes. Another one is uh, this uh, person is ill or not. Here, uh, uh, the student mistakenly, I have uh, spelling of person is uh, mistaken. So uh, here, person I uh, uh, should not be there. So person is ill or not. So it is yes, it is average, it is no. So I have divided a person, whether a person is ill or not, I have divided the uh, uh, person into three categories. Yes, means this person is ill. Average means this person is uh, average, average ill. Uh, or no, that means this person is not ill. So I have categorized the person into three categories based on the physical condition. Another one is their student sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis, uh, in this case, happy, sad. Three classes I, I can consider happy, sad, or happy. So sentiment, in the case of sentiment analysis in natural language processing, in that case, I can divide the data into happy, sad, and angry. So three classes I can consider. So dear student, I hope that you have understood the classification and what is the problem of clustering and what is the problem of classification. If you have any problem to understand what is uh, clustering, what is classification, uh, please ask a question. If you have. Sir, uh, is the difference between clustering is, and classification is that in cluster we have to uh, create the classes and in classification the class is already given. Is, is it like uh, that? Yes, classes are left. Very, very good question. In the case of clustering, uh, no classes is given. But based on the data, based on the characteristics of the data, you have to make classes. But in the case of classification, your class are given. But based on those classes, you have to classify data. In this case, your class has given. Uh, for example, in the case of conference data, you, you have two classes. One is yes or no class. So class is given. Now, if any uh, paper comes in that case uh, you have to decide whether your paper is uh, which class uh, within these two classes so you have to divide your papers into two classes those two classes are given but in the case of clustering uh, class are not given cluster are not given but based on the data you have to divide the data into uh, but i will tell you you have to divide the data into two clusters or you have to divide the data into three clusters, or you have to divide the data into four clusters. That I will tell you, but you have to divide the data into based on the characteristics of the data. Sir, so, Shekhe Trek uh, characteristics are based on the base core, cluster multiple, like if you change the cluster different, right? Yes. Uh, uh, different, I will give you a question. Uh, different uh, uh, cluster is uh, from that question, uh, based on the disease, based on the uh, music, based on the based on the uh, uh, another parameters, I have given. I will give you three uh, three questions, individual questions. I will give you, and if you solve those three questions, you will understand that. And in our uh, internet, uh, in that case, uh, uh, AI example for gaming clustering is given based on, based on the food characteristics, balanced diet. Based on the balanced diet, uh, you have to make clustering based on the balanced diet. So an example is given, and that example I also I give you, and please try you after uh, uh, giving you the question, then please try yourself best to solve the question. But before that, I will, sh I will show you how to make clustering mathematically. I will show you, then I will give you that question. So dear student here, uh, classification, and this is clustering, and this is the classification. Dear student, any problem? If you have Sir. a problem to understand, please ask me. Sir. Okay, please. Sir. Please. Uh, the uh, clustering, uh, among the characteristics, we divide. 
যে আমার ডেটা ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক যেটা আছে সেটাকে আমি আলাদা আলাদা ক্লাস্টারে ডিভাইড করছি এখন যদি আমাকে বলে দেওয়া হয় যে দুইটা ক্লাস্টার হবে কিন্তু আমার ডেটা ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক যদি থাকে চারটা সে ক্ষেত্রে আমি দুইটা ক্লাস্টার কি হবে অ্যালগরিদম কে মিন ক্লাস্টারিং অ্যালগরিদম অর ফর ইন সিমিন ক্লাস্টারিং অ্যালগরিদম ইন দ্যাট কেস ফর एग्जांपल ইউ हैव ভেরি গুড क्वेश्चन ইউ हैव ফর एग्जांपल ফোর डिस्टिंक्ट ক্যাটাগরি বাট আই সিন্স আই টোল্ড ইউ টু মেক two class or uh, two clusters so in that case just based on the data though there are four distinct categories characteristics but algorithm kevin clustering will divide the data into two clusters based on the nearest neighbor algorithm nearest neighbor that means euclidean distance those uh, two categories that you want to divide uh, data will be divided into those two categories though there are four categories data but data will be divided into two categories based on the uh, nearest neighbor of the characteristics okay उटकाम apple class one is uh, uh, orange class for example uh, apple and orange class now i have the, i can divide the data into apple, uh, apple or orange class so my class is fixed now if our fruit is for example gap mane koyen je gap dichi apnake ekhon gap di ami bollam je eta ki kon class e porbe আপনাকে সেখানে কিন্তু আপনাকে ডিভাইড ইয়ে করতে হবে যে সেটা কি আসলে অরেঞ্জ ক্লাসে পড়বে না আপেল ক্লাসে পড়বে যদি গাপ বেশি ম্যাচ করে অরেঞ্জ ক্লাসের সাথে তাহলে কিন্তু অরেঞ্জ ক্লাসে যাবে আর গাপ যদি বেশি ম্যাচ করে আপেলের সাথে তাহলে কিন্তু একটা আপেল ক্লাস পড়বে সেক্ষেত্রে কিন্তু আপনি ফিক্সড কিন্তু ইউ ক্লাস ইজ ফিক্সড বিকজ আই হ্যাভ গিভেন ইউ টু ক্লাসেস সো ইউ হ্যাভ টু ডিভাইড ইউ টেস্ট দ্যাট আই টেস্ট দ্যাট मींस গাপ Uh, into within this class classes it may be though both classes are wrong uh, but you have no way uh, to classify other than this class okay. even, even even if sir mane kono ta sathe match korche na but still amake je kono ekta class etake ante hobe you have to you have to choose one class because i have given you two class so we okay. two classes you have to divide. so dear student here i have given example of for clustering and classification now the student regression what is regression sometimes so any student uh, defends the thesis in that case we have a question what is the difference between classification and regression sometimes our some student fail to give answer so the student always remember that because you have uh, already uh, now you are uh, studying the data mining and some student already started the machine learning so after reading the data mining and machine learning you should make answer uh, what's the difference between the classification and regression now how many millimeter rain for today in in this case dear student i told you to find out the amount so in the classification it is yes no happy sad angry so classes different classes in the different classes i have divided the data but in this case if you want to find out the amount exact amount what exact amount uh, how many millimeter rain for today in that case you have to find out the amount so this is the regression problem when you want to find out the exact amount in that case it is the regression amount for example i told you uh, uh, this student uh, how how many marks this student got this is the regression problem because in this case you want to find out the find out a particular amount or you have to find out the particular marks so in that case this is the regression problem in the case of regression problem you have to find out a particular amount 
and for example particular mass particular range particular millimeter range for or particular uh, particular kg of rice so in that case dear student this is the regression problem for you when you want to find the find out the exact amount in that case this is the regression problem but when you want to classify in different classes that is the classification problem so i hope that you have understood the regression and classification problem dear student do you understand the regression problem what is the regression problem Yes, sir. Uh, that means in regression, uh, we have to uh, find a continuous value, actually, a, 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 a continuous numerical value. And in classification, we have to un, uh, identify the category. That is, classification deals with categorical data, and uh, regression deals with continuous data. At a particular amount, you have to find that. Now, the student, this is a regression problem, and now outlier detection. Outlier detection means uh, exceptional data. Exceptional data, what is the exceptional? For example, I can give you an example. For example, in your class, uh, for example, in your class, total student is now 49. And 48 student told that Kudasar is very good teacher. But one student said that Kudasar is not good. Because of this reason. So, dear student, that student is outlier data. That one student is outlier data because 48 students told, yeah, told Udasar is very good, but one student said uh, Udasar is not good because of this reason. So, that student is exceptional. Uh, exceptional student, that student is the outlier. So outlier data, though outlier data is statistically insignificant, but to make a robust system, to make a robust system, you have to incorporate outlier data. Always remember that when you are making uh, training in data mining and machine learning, you can incorporate the outlier data or you can exclude the outlier data. If you are exclude the outlier data, in that case, your system is not robust. When a noisy data, when an exceptional data comes, in that case, your system will not classify. But if you incorporate outlier data in your system, in that case, in that case, dear student, in that case, your system will be robust. If any jerking or noising the noisy data, or any exception that comes, in that case, your system will identify you very well. So dear student, always remember that when outlier data comes, you can incorporate it or you can exclude it, but it is better to incorporate the outlier data in your system to make a robust system, to make a robust system. So dear student, this is the outlier data. I hope that you have understood the regression and outlier detection here, student. If you have any problem, please ask me. Sir, uh, what is the benefit of uh, making a system robust? Robust, because, uh, for example, uh, noise noise comes. For I, I, I can give you an example based on the, for example, speech recognition. For example, your training data is in quiet room. Quiet and calm room. training Now a data calm that you have collected from a road. In the road there is a noise. There is a car data because uh, in the road there is a car. There is a rickshaw. Many sounds are here and there. So if you if you want to test data, if you are, want to test data using that data. Because in the road data, road data using the road data, you want to uh, change the system. But you training data you have collected from calm place, calm or and quiet uh, place. But you testing data from uh, from a place that uh, where you have calm noise, you have street noise, you have uh, rickshaw noise, you have many noise up there. So you training data is quiet. 
but your card data is uh, your street data is noisy. So if you test the data, what will be happen? You if you the you you result will not work good because in your training data there are no your system is not robust because in your system you have only trained the model you using only the quite data quite place data. So when different type of data, exceptional type of data, noisy data comes, your system cannot classify it because your system uh, is not experienced with the, um, with the noisy data. So it is the problem because robust data, if you want to make the system robust, in that case, you need to train the model to different categories of data. That data may be noisy, that data may be clean data. So clean, noisy, both types of data, you should remember in your system to make the data to the cloud is so that any type of if any type of exceptional data comes, your system can be detected. You understand me? Yes, student? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So outlier is very important. You can exclude the outlier data, but it is not the solution. But uh, in that case, your system will not be robust. Now, the student in this case, data mining, uh, machine learning, visualization, statistics, and databases. One, two, three, four. Four fields are related to data mining. Uh, machine learning, statistics, databases, visualization. Data visualization. So, these four uh, fields are relate, related to data mining. It's the related field that are related with the data mining. So dear student, you have to know about the machine learning, statistics, visualization, and databases. But please uh, don't be worried because mathematics is very easy in this case. So it will not be problem. I try myself best by giving a complete example so that you can write your uh, answer uh, in my CT question, uh, in my uh, meet question, in the my final question. It will not be problem. Mathematics is not difficult mathematics. I will try myself first so that you can understand the uh, data mining topic. Now, the student, I will go for another sheet. Uh, now, uh, here, association rules and frequent as, as I said. Now, dear student, I'm talking about the association rule and frequentization agency. So here, uh, transaction ID, this is the transactional data or record data or graph data. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine transactions are given. First transaction is me to bread eggs. Second transaction is bread sugar. Third transaction is bread Cereal. Fourth trans transaction is meal, bread, sugar. Fifth transaction is meal, cereal. Sixth transaction is bread, cereal. Seventh transaction is meal, cereal. Eighth transaction is meal, bread, cereal. Uh, uh, cereal, eggs. Ninth transaction is meal, bread, cereal. Dear student, now frequent item set. I want to calculate, for example, uh, milk and bread, how many times milk and bread are available uh, jointly? Uh, so milk, bread, this is the first transaction. Then milk and bread, this is the second transaction where the milk and bread simultaneously occurs. And milk and bread, this is the another milk and bread, transaction number eight. And last transaction is milk and bread, and this is the last transaction. So, dear student, here in this case, uh, four transaction contains milk and bread. And milk and cereal, how many transactions? Milk, bread, and cereal, how many transactions? These are the calls frequent items. Actually, uh, I want to find out the uh, rules. Uh, how many times if a consumer uh, buy milk, uh, in that case, uh, uh, how many times the, uh, the consumer will buy the bread. So milk and bread are correlated. How many times milk, milk and bread are correlated? 66%. How can I, I have calculated the 66%? Uh, 
because they are student milk and bread four times milk and bread four times milk and bread within nine uh, within these uh meal bread dear student meal bread here meal can bread you have to find out the meal because how many times how many uh frequently frequency of buying bread if he buys the meal so you have to find how many transaction contains the meal one transaction dear student first transaction contains the meal fourth transaction contains the meal Fifth transaction contains the meal. Seventh transaction contains the meal. Eighth transaction contains the meal, and ninth transaction contains the meal. So, dear student, six transaction, six transaction contains the meal. Six transaction, dear student, six transaction contains the meal. One transaction, one transaction, four transaction, five transaction, seven and transaction eight and transaction nine. This six transaction contains the meal. This six transaction contains the meal. So meal implies bread. How many times? Meal can bread four times occurs. So four by six. Four by six into hundred percent. Four by six into hundred percent. That means sixty-six point six six percent. Sixty-six point six six percent. Again, dear student, I am repeating. At first, you have to look for how many times milk occurs. How many times milk occurs? Transaction one contains milk. Transaction four contains milk. Transaction five contains milk. Transaction seven contains milk. Transaction eight contains milk. Transaction nine contains milk. That means our six transaction contains milk. Our six transaction contains milk. now dear student i am cal calculating how many times milk and bread simultaneously occurs that four so four and six six transaction contains milk so four by six into 100% that means 66.66% so the rule says milk implies bread that that is the 66.66% so how can i find out this rule there is a machine learning algorithm that is a priori algorithm using a priori algorithm we can calculate this type of rule i will show you how to calculate this type of rule using machine learning algorithm which is a priori algorithm so dear student using a priori algorithm i can calculate that now another one is dear student the sir one question sir yes Sir, here you have considered milk. What if we consider bread? Bread, uh, bread, it is not needed to calculate. But you have because you want to find out the if he buys the milk. In that case, uh, whether he buys the bread, uh, bread. Two dishes, milk, kine. That is also bread. Okay, okay. Power, power, power. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, milk and bread na but jodi sir question ta erokom hoy jodi keu bread kene tar milk kenar chance koto tuku ta ta seta apu pe korte pare shekhate kintu abar oi bread er koy bar ache seta kono pare you have to consider how many times bread occurs in that case you have to consider how many times bread occurs okay right sir the very sir okay. now dear student another one is summarize i hope that you have understood what is the association rule and frequent addition addition dear student do this uh, now up to now i am uh, talking about the theoretical regarding the theoretical topic but you have to know those concept to understand the arithmetic process so uh, do not uh, ignore it uh, you have to understand those topic what is summarization what is visualization what is data mining what are, which fields are related because when you are going uh, when uh, uh, when Uh, you go to a uh, company for uh, viva in that case uh, they will make you question uh, what is the uh, data mining what, what is the visualization what is the machine learning this topic uh, they uh, regarding uh, that topic uh, they may ask you question 
So now, uh, dear student, here summarization. What is summarization? Summarization means we want to find out the particular statistics of the data. Uh, what is the particular statistics? It may be a summation, it may be a report, it may be a visualization of data. So you can find out summarization means you can make it a uh, report. Uh, for example, in your company, you can find out, uh, for example, a bank, uh, how many customers contains uh, more than, for example, 20 lakhs data in, uh, in the account. If you segregate those uh, banks, in that case, this is the summarization. So there is doing summarization, visualization, report making, uh, graph, uh, graph making, this is actually summarization or data visualization. Those are the uh, those are the main theme of summarization. Here, dear student, I have given you an example of the summarization. Uh, for example, in a system, just uh, think about the data uh, when some people are collecting train ticket from Kamlapur railway station. Kamlapur railway station. Uh, for example, from the post train institution, for example, some people are uh, trying to uh, collect uh, tickets. So in that case, what will be happen? Think about the first customer. First customer, when collecting the ticket, he has no delay. So delay is zero. Now customer two, delay is two. Why? For example, customer one, processing time is two seconds. Customer one processing time is two seconds. So how many times customer two have to wait in the line? Two seconds because customer one processing time is two seconds. So customer two delay, what is the customer two delay? Customer two delay is two seconds. Now what will be the customer three delay? Because customer one processing time is two seconds. Customer two processing time is two seconds. They student, so how many times customer three uh, uh, have to wait in queue? Because customer two things, customer one and customer two is in front of customer three. So customer three, customer one processing time is two seconds. Customer two processing time is two seconds. So customer three have to wait in queue for four seconds. So dear student, this is the customer delay. So for example, I want to find out the average customer delay. What will be the average customer delay? Zero, two, four, zero, two, four divided by three. So two seconds is the customer average. A two seconds is the customer delay. So dear student, I have find out the customer delay from those data, this is the data summarization. This is another example of data summarization. So dear student, you can ask me question if you want to understand the data summarization. What is data summarization? You can ask me question. Dear student, Sir, uh, summarization and what happened to figure the delineator key kaj I'm actually cast uh, actually I am showing the some customers are waiting uh, to enter into the system. Okay, I'm the cut some customers are here and they are uh, they are trying to enter this is the system, they are trying to go to the system. Some uh, some customers are already in the system and some are waiting. To enter into the system. You understand, dear student? Yes, sir. Here, data mining models and tasks. I am talking about the data mining, mining models and tasks. Data mining, uh, predictive model, descriptive model. Predictive model. Uh, classification, regression, time series analysis, and prediction, and then a descriptive model, clustering, summarization, association rule, and sequence. Uh, sequence here, sequence, uh, uh, sequence model, sequence model. So, dear student, here clustering, uh, clustering, summarization, association, and uh, data sequencing. Data sequencing. So here they are their student classification, regression, time series, and prediction. Here I have sh uh, shown you, I am showing you the data mining. What is the purpose of data mining? Data mining, you can build up the predictive model or you can build up the descriptive model. In the case of this descriptive model, clustering, summarization, association rule, 
or you can um, uh, you can draw the sequence diagram you can draw the sequence diagram uh, in the case of predictive model dear student you can find out the classification regression time series analysis and prediction so uh, these are the overall task of the overall task and model build up in the case of data management yes any problem to understand dear student what uh, we will do in data mining classification regression time series analysis prediction these are the predictive model that we will construct in the case of data mining the descriptive model clustering summarization association rule and data uh, sequence diagram these yes. are the overall task of data mining Great. एग्जाम्पल i want to find out the two days what is the condition of for example i want to find out two days what is the condition of stock market based on the previous days stock market situation i want to find out because it is the time series data because uh, current data depends on the previous days data so uh, because of that, that we can predict a uh, particular day we can predict a particular data we can uh, predict a particular Uh, amount uh, based on the previous days data so uh, that all of the prediction classification regression time series analysis prediction all of the prediction uh, it is because of that i have you have to find out the predictive model you have to find out the predictive model for each of the uh, for, for each of the at uh, in the case of descriptive model uh, you may uh, do uh, you may do clustering summarization association rule Or you can draw the sequence diagram. Summarization, sir, basically statistical method will apply to the. Ah yes, statistical method. Data mining also based on the statistics, uh, machine learning. Uh, I already told you database, data visualization, all of the things are uh, related to data mining. Dear dear student, I have given already. Uh, yeah, I I have already uploaded that dear student. Uh, city question also a project. Uh, for select for selecting the project, I have uploaded another sheet in the ELMS. So please select your own uh, project and make a group. Uh, at most seven students can make a group. I already told you. At first, please select your own project, your group own project from my sheet. Already, sheet is uploaded in ELMS for project. Here, I have mentioned some topic, but you you can select uh, because fifty nine topic already I have given in ELMS from. Those topic you can select uh, one topic uh, for your group, and then please try to solve it by using TensorFlow. Oeka are uh, many machine learning tools are available. Using one of the machine learning tool, you can solve your problem. But I told you to incorporate one programmer so that you can solve your problem easily. Sir, I mean, कौन कौन email tool use करते पर बार एक बार बोलूँ? Because you can use all of the machine learning tools. Because in this course, I will cover all of the machine learning tools uh, that are related to data mining. So uh, you can use uh, all of the tools. For example, uh, your objective is not to submit the project. Your objective is to uh, submit a paper to a conference, international conference. Because now many conferences uh, are in Bangladesh. Uh, many conference in india many conference in malaysia so 
here and there many conference if you submit your paper to a particular conference and if it is accepted it, it will be resource for you uh, to go for phd to go for uh, higher studies so uh, dear student uh, my objective is so that you can uh, finally your paper is recognized by any international journal or conference so you can select the topic uh, from my sheet or you can select your own topic also if you do not uh, like my topic and you can select your own topic from any uh, you can select from my uh, sheet you can select from any higher that you can select so dear student do not the problem uh, just solve a problem using machine learning tool and try to uh, solve the problem using many machine learning tools for example support vector machine multi layer neural network for example decision tree for example random forest uh, a priori algorithm uh, uh, may be may be classification and you can make the cross validation so <laughs> all of the methods you can use to solve that problem sir where we can uh, put the project name and group member details. Uh, just uh, you can select your own project name and you can inform me you have selected this topic and uh, then in, in that case I will be uh, I will be sure you have selected this topic and I can give you access sheet. I can give you Excel sheet if you want. I, uh, I can give you Excel sheet so that in the Excel sheet you can put your uh, topic topic name. It, it, it will be helpful to yes, give sir. you uh, Google sheet if I uh, if I give you Google sheet. Yes, sir. That will be helpful. Yes, sir. That will be better. Oh, okay, I I will upload uh, the Google sheet today. Uh, then uh, in the Google sheet, and I will upload two sheet, one for M section, one for M section. Uh, so uh, put your name and select your topic name uh, and also write the na uh, name your student id and uh, your topic name and please since i will give you a google sheet in that case uh, from a google sheet you can identify uh, who are the programmers and because uh, you can write i will give you another column who is expert in the machine learning in that case, you can write who is expert in machine learning. In that case, other group or other members uh, can select and can identify uh, which students is expert in machine learning. In that case, it will be helpful for other students. So I will give you some columns, and in that, from that column, you can select who is expert in machine learning. So it, uh, today, I will upload it. So dear student, now our second lecture. Uh, sir, I'm going to select a question. Okay, Hello. Hey. Uh, sir, जे जे विभिन्नो जे algorithm गुलो रोये छे ये algorithm गुलो जखोन use कर बो ये गुलो तो विभिन्नो tools एर मातो में शोरा शोरे use करा जाए तो algorithm गुला तो शोरा शोरी होच्छे छे तारा विभिन्नो tools एर मातो में calculation करे दिच्छे एक इत्री क्या मार manually वो इटा बोर्नो ना करते हो बे जे की भावे calculation टा not needed in the case of project in the case of project it is not needed in the case of project uh, your objective is to uh, and first, your objective is to find out a topic. Second one is uh, uh, for this topic, which machine learning tools you have selected. That is another thing you have to consider. And you have to find out the accuracy. You have to find out the confusion matrix. You have to find out the F1 score. And you have to find out the ROC card. ROC card. And those things you can uh, you can submit. So this is the one thing. And I think you may have a suggestion uh, how you can improve your system. You may have a suggestion. For example, you can give you the suggestion in the, in the near future, author uh, will incorporate the 
hybrid system. For example, now you are applying only single system, uh, single machine learning tool, but in near future, you can apply uh, another tool in the post-processing stage. So uh, it may increase your accuracy. It may increase your accuracy if you use another machine learning tool in the post-processing stage, it may increase your accuracy. So now you are conducting the experiment using the single machine learning tool, but in near future, if you have time, in that case, you can apply more than one machine learning tool and another machine learning tool in the post-processing stage uh, by using two machine learning tools, that means hybrid approach, you can increase your accuracy. So there are students, this, this may happen, you have a suggestion, so your suggestion may have, uh, you can give you the suggestion. All right, sir. Sir, how much uh, plagiarism is accepted? Uh, plagiarism is uh, not play, uh, greater than 30 percent because uh, we have a plagiarism software uh, targeting, you know, uh, in the case of our master's project, in the case of our PMS master's thesis, in, uh, for the case of our assignment, for all of the cases, we have plagiarism testing software, targeting software. So, in the turning software, your assignment should not uh, more than 30 percent plagiarism. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Sir, now, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, sir, my um, I have uh, chosen my project uh, topic uh, that is uh, from a large uh, symptom uh, database. Um, I will show the uh, prediction of disease yeah. using machine learning. Is that okay? Prediction of disease using machine learning uh, in the computational intelligence course. If I tell you, in that case, you have only you have done only one machine learning tool you have applied. A neural network you have applied because neuro computing uh, that for uh, that topic I have told you in neuro computing uh, neuro computing. But you have applied only uh, only one machine learning tool, tool you have applied. But in this course, you have to apply more than one machine learning tool. Support vector machine, decision tree, random forest. You can apply deep learning. You can apply the name Bayesian classification. You have to apply the cross validation. So many many topics are available. So dear student, now in this course, your topic is one thing, and other thing is you apply. You have to apply more than one machine learning tool uh, in this topic. Now dear student, here uh, I already told you. Uh, my second sheet uh, classification regarding that classification I already uh, told you uh, some examples I have given here uh, email for example email a email may be legitimate email or spam spam or not spam sometimes our email is spam sometimes our email is legitimate how can I classify using name Bayesian classification uh, we can easily classify the email whether a image is spam or legitimate so here dear student i have given uh, time series analysis i already told you what is time series analysis time series analysis means current day's data depends or current data depends on the previous data so this is the time series analysis the current data based on the previous data that is the time series analysis that i have written here analyze time series data extract statistics and other characteristics forecast future value based on the uh, previous observation so this is the time series data so here i have given an example of this time series data for its classification again i am uh, discussing here dear student i have given you an example uh, for example zero zero here input is zero zero output is zero input is one one output is one our training data is given, dear student. Our training data is given. Here, yes, zero and one. A zero and one is output data, dear student. Here, yes, zero is output data, one is output data. Now, my uh, zero is uh, zero class and one class. Since our output is zero and one, so it is zero class. We have two class. One class is zero class, one class is one class. This zero and one are called teacher data, supervised data, all level data. Zero, zero and one, it is called level data. 
label data, output data, or piece of data. So there is student when input is 0, 0, output is 0. When input is 1, 1, in that case, output is 1. So here, uh, here input and output are given in the case of supervised learning. In the case of supervised learning, dear student, both input and output are given. From the output, it is known that what, is, what will be our class? Our class is 0 and 1. Since output is 0 and 1, so our class is 0 class and 1 class. Now, dear student, my question is, when input is 0, 1, what will be our output? I have applied the new data. I have applied the new data, dear student. 0, 1 is our new, new input because this 0 and 1 is not in the input data, input train data. Input training data, dear student, input training data, there are, there are no, the input training data, there are, there are no, uh, there are no uh, testing data. Testing data is 0, 1. 0, 1 is not available in the training input data. 1, 0, uh, the 1, 0, we have no training data here. So, dear student, 0, 1, we do not have. 1, 0, we do not have the training data. So, this is the new data, dear student generalizing known characteristic to apply to new data. So here I have uh, I have tested uh, the system using new data. New data is not because this, that why this data are new data? Because zero one is not available in the training input data. One zero is not available in the input data. Now the student here regression uh, already uh, I have discussed. Uh, regression, uh, how can I find out the regression? Uh, in the case of regression, main objective is to find out a function, function from the training data. You have to find out a function. How to find out a function? Using training data, you have to find out a function. Then if you put the unknown data in the function, you will get a output. Because our main objective in the regression is to find out the particular amount. I already told you uh, how millimeter rain for today. How millimeter rain for today? How, how many marks a student will get? So this type of problem is a regression problem. Because you, are, you want to find out the particular amount. So how can you find out the particular amount? Dear student, at first you have to build a function. You have to build a function based on the characteristics of the training data. Based on the characteristics of training data, you have to find out a function. And if you put the unknown value in the function, you will get a particular amount. That will be your answer. That will be your answer. So this is the regression problem. Dear students, so remember that what we will do in the regression uh, problem. At first, we, we will consider, we will construct a, we'll construct a function based on the training data. Then, dear student, I will put the new value in the function, and the function will give me an answer. That answer will be our uh, test, uh, test question answer. That will be our test question answer. So this is the regression problem. So dear student, in the case of regression, always remember that you have to build a function. You have to build a function. Now dear student, summarization, I already told you what is summarization. Summarization, I already gave you an example. Summarization means you want to find out the report. You want to find out uh, the user data visualization. You, are, you want to represent the data in a compact form. That will be a, be a summarization. You want to uh, build, a, for example, you want to build a graph. You want to you you want to build a histogram. That is the data summarization. So in the case of data summarization, dear student, we want to build. Uh, we want to build a. Uh, we are, we want to show the data in a compact form. Uh, we want to build the data in a compact form. So dear student. Uh, I hope that you have understood the uh, classification, regression, and summarization that I already told you. Any problem, dear student, to classification, regression, and summarization? Any problem? No, sir, regression and classification are part. Sir, I am a 
ফাংশন বের করতে হবে বা যেটা মিনিমাম এরর দিবে এখন আমি যদি সেটা মাল মানে যত বেশি ইটারেশন চালাবো আমার সেটা আসলে এরর সাধারণত কমতে থাকবে স্যার এখানে তাহলে কি ইট ইজ নট অলওয়েজ কারেক্ট বিকজ ইফ ইউ ইন দা কেস অফ মেশিন লার্নিং ইউ हैव এ অপটিমাল পয়েন্ট হাউ মেনি টাইম ইউ উইল রান দা মেশিন লার্নিং টু বিকজ ইফ ইউর আইডিয়া ইজ নট কারেক্ট ইফ ইউ ফর লং টাইম ইফ আই randa uh, if i make training in that case our function will be less error it is not always correct you have to randa machine learning tool at a particular time uh, up to a particular time and you have to optimize a function and using that function you have to find out the value of unknown input okay okay sir इनफरमेशन उंट Uh, you can complete your project by using small scale data then uh, before submitting the paper you can uh, enlarge your uh, experimental environment you can enlarge okay sir tar mane eta ko touch korte pare sir virtual doctor ko yes okay sir thank you sir okay now dear student i hope that you have understood the classification regression and summarization now data mining process dear student what is data mining process state the problem state the problem dear student at first state the problem these five steps you have to understood clearly dear student you have to understood very clearly uh, step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 and step 5 at first state the problem so to state the problem dear student two two things you have to consider one thing is data mining expert one thing is system expert so system expert and data mining expert both will work jointly and define a problem based on the system behavior and then you will get a problem again dear student i am i am discussing about the state the problem because data mining process uh, follows these five steps this five is step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 this five step data mining process will follow now state the problem how can you state the problem for example uh, you are you are wanting to work with a hospital so in that case how can you uh, how can you state the problem what is the problem at first dear student you have each, at first you have to define who are the stakeholders stakeholders are in the, in the case of hospital stakeholders are nurse stakeholders are doctor stakeholders are patient so many stakeholders are official person so the stakeholders dear student in the case of hospital uh, these stakeholders are occurs uh, along uh, for these stakeholders uh, you have uh, as a data mining expert to define a system uh, you have to contact those stakeholders and find out a problem for, uh, after discussing with those stakeholders so at first this is the state the problem state the problem that means you have to define the problem what is the problem of that system at first you have to talk with the stakeholders of the system and then data mining expert contact with those stakeholders and find out a problem this is the first step second step is the collect the data how much data you want to collect dear student 
So data, dear student, I already told you two types of data you have to collect. One type of data is the training data. One type of data is the testing data. One type of data is the training data. One type of data is the testing data, dear student. Training data and testing data should be gathered from same distribution. For example, for example, why same distribution? For example, you have collected you data from, for example, cardiovascular uh, disease data you have collected for training. But you testing data is brain, brain stroke data. In that case, yeah, it will be uh, work properly? No. So you training data and testing data should be collected from same distribution. So training data and testing data you need. You need training data and testing data. Dear student, you need training and testing data, both data you need. Training data and testing data should be collected from same distribution. Another one is perform pre-processing. Perform pre-processing. What is pre-processing? I already told you about the outlier data, dear student. Outlier data, what is outlier data that I already told you? Exceptional data. So whether you will decide uh, your, uh, your outlier data will be discarded or your outlier data will be integrated in the system, that depends on you. But I already told you to make a system robust, you have to incorporate the outlier data. So dear student, outlier data, whether you will incorporate the outlier data in the system or not, you have to decide. So in the pre-processing stage, you have to decide whether noisy data you incorporate in the system or not. For example, in the case of text mining, in the case of text mining, dear student, uh, text mining, uh, what is the text mining? What is the pre-processing stage? You can delete the noisy data. For example, a word which is mistakenly uh, you have input. You have you have input uh, inputted a mistaken word. For example, uh, spelling or uh, spelling is wrong. Wrong spelling you have uh, you have given. In that case, that word uh, that word we you want to incorporate in the system, or you want to discard that word. That depends on you. That depends on you. Whether the stop word, for example, M is R, uh, that word you will incorporate in the system, or you will not incorporate that word. That is also a decision. So dear student, noisy data, uh, you have to think about the noisy data, you have to think about the outlier data, and you, uh, in the case of text mining, you can, uh, whether you incorporate the uh, misspelled data. So uh, you have to take decision in the pre-processing stage. So far from the pre-processing stage. So uh, at first step is you have to define your problem by interacting with the stakeholders. Second one is you have to collect the data. Collect the data, what is the collection of data, training data and testing data you have to collect from the same distribution and the same environment. Third one is perform pre-processing, whether you want to write or when you want to keep the noisy data or outlier data or exceptional data. In the case of text mining, whether misspelled word uh, you want to consider or whether you want to uh, uh, delete the misspell data or whether stop word will be deleted. So you have to decide in the pre-processing stage. Now the student is uh, estimate the model. Estimate the model, you have to find out the data model. Data model you have to estimate and you have to find out the data model. In this stage using machine learning tool or AI tool. Estimate the model. Now the student interpret the model and draw the conclusion. In, the, in this case, you have to uh, find out the accuracy based on the test data, based on the validation data. Validation data may be you can incorporate the stakeholders, for example, uh, patient, nurse, doctors in your system, and they tell you whether your answer of that training, uh, uh, training and testing data is correct or not. So uh, because you have tested, uh, tested the system, using uh, your test data, but stakeholders said it is not correct either. So your system correction, system validation can be made using the validation data. So three types of data, three types of 
data unit one is training data one is testing data one is validation data set so validation data set tell you whether your testing data uh, e testing output is correct or not so dear student five steps uh, i have written here five steps i have written here state the problem collect the data perform pre processing estimate the model and interpret interpret the model and draw for the conclusion here is state the problem dear student i already told you uh, inter here i have a close interaction between the data mining expert and the application expert that means stakeholders stakeholders so dear student you are uh, you have to select select particular application domain your domain is hospital your domain is a business your domain is educational institute which type of domain uh, you want to consider that as first you have to select then the other student get a domain specific knowledge and experience and from that domain you have to get up the knowledge and experience and then close interaction between, between stakeholders and also the data mining expert you have to consider so based on these things you have to state the problem and then collect the data dear student i already told you what, uh, what is the data because data training data and testing data so training data and testing data should be collected from same environment same distribution otherwise your accuracy will not uh, you will not get the uh, better accuracy because of that dear student in that case training and testing data should be collected from same environment same distribution here here i have written normal or no, log normal distribution that i have written here and what is data lake a real student pre processing data data in the pre processing the data already i told you you have to uh, decide about the outlier detection outlier detection i already told you you can delete the outlier data in that case you will not get the robust system but if you want to make the robust system in that case you have to integrate the outlier data in your system so uh, whether you incorporate the outlier data in your system or not that depends on the that depends on the uh, data pre processing stage in that uh, data pre processing stage you can uh, you have to decide whether you will incorporate the outlier data or not here dear student data storage uh, about data storage i have given you the three concept one is data lake one is data warehouse one is data mart what is data lake data lake that means a ocean of data ocean of data that is the raw raw data that is the raw data dear student raw data this is the unstructured data so data lake means a representative of data is stored in its natural or raw format that means unstructured data dear student this is the ocean of data here data is in unstructured format that is the data lake another one is data warehouse this is the global thinking of data dear student this is the uh, master data uh, for example in the case of bank dear student for example a bank has different branch office so data warehouse means you would master copy of the data a large store of data from a wide range of sources is in a company so for example a bank a bank has different uh branches in that case bin uh, master copy of the data uh, from the from the bank from the different branches of the uh, bank uh, stored in a uh, in one place that is the data warehouse this is the global thinking of data that means master master data and that is stored in the uh, for example in the case of head office the head office you can store the data warehouse so a large store of data from a wide range of sources within a company but data mart is branch office so you can think about the branch office uh, that means field level data field level data branch office data that is the data mart so this is there is student data lake data lake is a huge amount of data that means raw data and structured data and data warehouse is the student there uh, data warehouse data data warehouse is data data warehouse is here uh, a large volume of data from the different uh, branch office in the case of the bank data mart is uh, actually the branch office data branch office data is the data data mart so data my data mart is very small 
and data warehouse is greater than data mart and data lake is huge amount of data huge amount of data that is in unstructured format so dear student uh, uh, i hope that you have understood uh, do you understand what is state the problem what is collect the data what is the pre processing the data dear student dear student any problem to understand dear student i am audible from your side uh, no sir Dear student, uh, uh, this is uh, another problem here I have given, and uh, for the midterm, uh, especially for the midterm, uh, this type of question is available in the midterm. So uh, you have to understand this math. Here in the data pre-processing stage, dear student, is scaling, encoding, and selecting feature. And what is scaling? What is the data scaling? For example, you want to scale the input data. How to scale the input data? Dear student, to scale the input data, you have to normalize the data. What is the normalization of data? Here, yeah, 2, 4, 3, 5. 2, 4, 3, 5 are, for example, our input data, raw input data. Before integrating the input data, dear student, you have to scale up, scale up the data to feed the data in your system. To feed the data in your uh, system, uh, so you have to scale the data or you need to normalize data. So how can I normalize data? For example, two, four, three, five. Uh, we have two, four, three, five. We can normalize data by using this process. Two, first data is two. Two by root over of, 2 square, 4 square, 3 square, 5 square. 4 root over of 2 square, 4 square, 3 square, 5 square. Then dear student 3, 3 divided by 2 square, 4 square, 3 square, 5 square. Then 5, 2 square, 4 square, 3 square, 5 square. So dear student, after scaling or after normalization, I have got this data. This is one normalization technique. Another normalization technique is dear student, you have to find out 2, 4, among 2, 4, 3, 5. You have to find out which one is maximum. In this, in this case, dear student, our maximum data is 5. So I can divide 2 by 5, 4 by 5, 3 by 5, and 5 by 5. This is the maximization technique of uh, data normalization. So dear student, I have discussed here, I'm talking about the two techniques of data mining. Dear student, please do it. Sorry, dear student, this is her called me. Hello, dear student, I am audible from your side. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maximization technique. 
Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, here I have, uh, I, uh, I already explained the two, two techniques for data normal normalization, because this type of question is available in midterm uh, question. So you have to understood how to find out how to normalize the data. Two, te right. two techniques I have discussed. One technique is this technique. This is distance-based uh, technique. Another technique is maximization technique. So uh, normal, uh, first technique, again, I am repeating. Two by two square, four square, three square, five square, then row. Four by same thing, three by same thing, five by same thing. This is one technique. Another technique is maximization technique. What is maximization technique? Two, four, three, five. So you can divide two by five, four by five, three by five, and five by five. So there is two by five, four by five, three by five, five by five. So using uh, this technique, you can also normalize the data. Now, dear student, if you have a question, please ask. Sir, sir, question. Okay. मडल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज उदिन जीरो टू वन हाउ कैन यू इनक्लूड द डाटा इज इन जीरो टू वन In that case, you have to uh, you have to find out uh, the data within zero to one. How you can find out data within zero to one? For example, maximization technique: two, four, three, five. Uh, two divided by five, four divided by five, three divided by five, five divided by five. What is the distribution of data? Dear student, point four, point eight, uh, three by five. That means point six, five by five, one. That means all the data are within the zero to one. So now data distribution. Uh, what is the distribution of data? You have to consider. Based on that distribution, you have to normalize the data. So data normalization is very important. इता इता इधर वाले रेंडर मोड़ते फैलर दौड़ता है कौन सा? जो कौन डाटा वाले भेलू की वाले हाय वाले बोरो है। हमारे कॉलेज में डाटा is uh, very sparse or spike. There is a spike. Uh, for example, there is a spike. Uh, for example, one data is two. One data is, for example, one hundred. In that case, uh, if you uh, make limit within the range, uh, in this case, for example, if you one data is two, one data is hundred. In that case, you have to follow the log normal distribution. If you make the uh, log, if you find out the log, log of two and log of hundred. In that case, dear student, your value will be limited within the certain range. So in that case, log normal distribution you have to follow. So which distribution you have to follow, your student? That uh, depends on your model. Which model you want to follow? Which distribution you want to follow? In that case, you have to, you have to normalize the data. In my PhD, I have used the Graham-Schmidt orthogonalization method to normalize my skill data. Graham-Schmidt orthogonalization data. So in that case, I normalize the data using Graham-Schmidt method. And I normalize the speech data. So uh, sometimes there is student when you have applied the machine learning tool or data mining technique, you have to apply the uh, normalization. Another thing is their student dimensionality reduction. I am talking about the their student pre-processing stage because I am talking about now the pre-processing stage. What is pre-processing stage? Another one may be a dimensionality reduction. Dimensionality reduction. What is the dimensionality reduction? Dear students, principal component analysis, linear discriminant analysis, Carnot and Loeb transformation, wavelet transformation. This type of transformation can be used to reduce the dimensionality reduction. For example, dear students, in the case of image processing, in the case of image processing, uh, data is huge data because in the image, dear students, we have a uh, pixel, many pixels, 1024 into one a image. A image is 1024 into 1024 data. Please, uh, dear student, please mute yourself. Dear student, please uh, give me one minute time to complete the lecture, and then uh, I will take the attendance. Just please wait. So, uh, dimensionality reduction, dear student. Dimensionality reduction, uh, principal component analysis can be used to reduce the dimensionality. LD, dear student, please please mute yourself, dear student. Please don't disturb me.
linear discriminant analysis and carbonyl lobe transformation, wavelet transformation. This type of transformation sometimes needed to reduce the dimensionality of the data. Here, student, if your data input data dimensionality is huge, in that case, uh, the computational speed should be larger. So it is very difficult to uh, to increase the computational power. So, uh, dear student, you have to reduce the dimensionality of the input data. How can you reduce the dimensionality of the input data? Uh, principal component analysis, linear discriminant analysis, current and log transformation, uh, wavelet transformation. For example, think about the image data, dear student, 1024 into 1024. For example, a image has 20, uh, 1024 into 1024. In that case, huge amount of data. It is difficult to incorporate those data in the system. So in that case, you have to reduce the dimension of the data. For example, 8 into 8, 1024 into 1024 image, you want to reduce it into 8 into 8. How can you, re you reduce the data? You, you can make it uh, the wavelet transformation. Wavelet transformation. The, uh, the student in my PhD, I have used coronal and log transformation, KLT, I have applied. In this course, I will uh, show you the principal component analysis, most usually used, most usually used uh, uh, dimensional reduction technique is principal component analysis. So the student, this type of uh, analysis, dimensional reduction algorithm can be used uh, to reduce the dimensionality. And uh, dear student, I already told you the estimate model. I already told you, you have to use the AI-based model or the machine learning-based model. Uh, in the AI-based model or machine learning-based model, dear student, uh, training part, training part, and testing part. Training part, training part, and testing part. In the case of training part, uh, data training data, training data, pre-processing, machine learning tool. You will get a predictive model. Dear student, from the training part, you will get a predictive model. From the testing data, pre-processing, and then dear student, from the testing data, uh, predictive model and testing data, after matching, you will get out. After matching, you will get output. So dear student, you will get output after matching the data. This is the estimate model, how you can estimate the model. Again, dear student, this diagram is very important with respect to AI and machine learning because the data training, data training data, you have to do the pre-processing. Uh, in the pre-processing, what you have to do? Uh, outlier data, stop data, this type of the misspell data, this type of data, whether you, you will keep or not, that depends on pre-processing, data normalization, and data dimensionality reduction, all of the things are related to pre-processing states. So the, the student, this pre-processed data, uh, outlier data detection, uh, normalization, and the uh, uh, dimensionality reduction. After that, the student, you have to put all the input data in machine learning tool. From the machine learning tool, you will get the predictive model. After obtaining the predictive model, testing data, pre-processing data, then you will get the input data. This uh, input data and predictive model data you will compare and you will get the output data. So dear student, this is your output. This is the model. Estimate, you have to uh, estimate the model. Dear student, already I told you the interpret the model and draw conclusion. In this case, dear student, you have to find out the accuracy. What is the accuracy? You, you have to find, you have to build a confusion matrix. You have to build a confusion matrix, dear student, in, in this step. You have to find out the F1 score. You have to find out the accuracy. So these type of parameters you have to calculate. And I already told you, though, dear student, I have training data and testing data. You have another set of data, which is validation data set. That means you have to incorporate the stakeholders in your system. Stakeholder told you whether your testing output is correct or not. So you, you need to uh, incorporate the validation set data for uh, testing your data, for uh, testing your system. So dear student, three set of data is needed, training data set, testing data set. Another set is data, uh, data set, that is the validation data set. That means your system stakeholder, you can incorporate in your system so that they can tell whether your output data is correct or not. So this is the validation testing data set. Training data set, testing data set, and validation set, testing data set you can apply. 
so dear student here i already told you many things uh, so uh, these five steps you have to follow for data mining inshallah in my next class after eid it will be happen so dear student uh, after eid i will take our uh, third class and in the meantime dear student many topic i have completed so please try to solve the problem that i have given for ct so ct question try yourself best to solve the ct question if any problem uh, please call me and you can sit with me in zoom so today's class is finished uh, sir problem hole apne ki email korbo sir please to respond sir you can email you can uh, call me or you can sit with me in zoom okay okay sir my zoom link is always same uh, always my class zoom link and my consultation zoom link is same so dear student you can use same link responded roll call uh, abdullal mamun yes sir uh, abdul subhan mia is present because his uh, uh, class his class is in another section abid present sir uh, nadia present sir uh, imtiaz present sir uh, ishtiak yes sir sajid sajid Khalid Ahmed Khan, uh, Asif, Asif Anwar, uh, Shan Ishbaran, uh, Jawad, Khalid Ahmed Khan, present sir, uh, Prabhita, present sir, Tamanna, Tamanna, sir Taman, uh, Tamanna present, okay sir. Uh, 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 Farhan? Yes, sir. Farhan, uh, I, I have already collected many topics uh, from you, uh, 29 topics. So from that 20 topics, you can select a topic for your master's thesis, okay? Okay. Yes. okay. Uh, Badjun Nesa Antu? Sir. Uh, Shahinur? Shahinur Yes, sir. Mehnaz, Mehnaz, Mehnaz Shohid. Sir, only chillin, sir. Ashfaq. Present, sir. Sabid. Present, sir. Mubarak. Yes, sir. Abid. Present, sir. Niaz Magdoum. Present, sir. Umaira. Sir, Asim, I'm going to ask you. Fashid. Yes, sir. Anik. Anik Dutta. Yes, sir. Dasin Siddiqui. Yes, sir. Shamsul Arifin Shaun. Present, sir. Shubhadeep Dash. Sir, Shubhadeep Dash was present also. Okay. Zakir. Present, sir. Anis Rahman. Sir, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Vishwajit Mandal. Sir, present, sir. Uh, Adnan. Present, sir. Uh, Arif. Present, sir. Akash. Akash Bhuya. Akash. Uh, Musa. Yes, sir. Tipu. Yes, sir. Parekh. Present, sir. Yunus Ali. Uh, sir, Ilyas. Present. Ilyas, uh, present, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Masood. Masood yes, Parvez. Sir. Yes, sir. Alauddin uh, Mazumdar. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Muzaffar. Present, sir. Uh, Sirajam Munira. Present, sir. Nafi uh, Sadiq. Yes, sir. Uh, Alib Azmir Khandokar. Present, sir. 
uh, Fayaz Mursalin. Yes, sir. Uh, Imranul Haq. Yes, sir. Uh, Moshu Rahman. Moshu Rahman. Sir, oh, present as sir. Oh, Mike a problem. Rashidun Nabi. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hasib. Presently. Uh, Rul Amin. Rul Amin. Rumana Nahar Ratna. Rumana Nahar Ratna. Uh, Rezwan Sodri. Sir, oh, present as Present as a Nasa Rezon to represent us. Okay, sir Rakas present as old Mike Shunsha. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Sajid Hamed Khan, sir number seven. Serial Koto, sir seven. Sir seven. Okay, Asif, are you present? Asif. Sir, I will tell sir. I will from Mali. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am to O section, sir. Shuniwar section, sir. Okay, I give you present. Sir, Rakash, sir, I am Akash, sir, present. Akash, you are also here, sir. Yes, sir. Akash, serial number, what is Akash, you are? Akash, sir, sir, four, three, four, three number, sir. Mosa, sir, is sir. Sir, it is Okay, present complete. Shanbul Chilam, sir. Sir, our yetta Shanbul Chilam, sir. Sir, Sir, you came in Munaham the attendance second update for a hoin. Take a pot of sir. Sir, I am Jani. Na shobatta same ki na. I am at ekono ashi nii sir. Apna course sir attendance update ashi nii. Sir, onno onno course sir kulo update hui sir. Kudu data mining. Yes sir. Okay. Ita aishar the tarle bolen. Okay sir. Samu shobatta kotha na. Ye ekhane je ya ashi na. Daske class ekta ashi na je. Save color for us, sir. Now, okay, sir. I'm not going to do it. So, I'm going to class. I'm going to do it. Okay, sir. Thank you all. Thank you. Sir, we have a group of people. Sir, okay. I give you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.